All right. Now, how did you – What? first off, there's a, there was also an FBI, I guess, uh, raid carried out this morning, uh, and he talked about that a little bit in there too. Um, we might go through some of the details of that as well. But um, what is your take on what's going on? And you can go through some of your history there too, in the timeline if you'd like. But uh, and you published the story with the diary for nationalfile.com, uh, right. and that's where it came out. Now, if you, yes. by the way, I, the New York Times article, you really got to read this um, to, to fully get into it. But they talk about the National File without ever naming the site uh, in the article because they're that fucking petty and that fucking lame. Uh, and just, it's just so weak, by the way. And later on in the article, they do link to a site that the only thing the site does is, like, stalk people who work for Project Veritas, basically. The New York Times does make sure to link to that site. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, I just wanted yeah. to note that because I did when I was reading it. I was like, oh, that's really cool. The gray lady. The gray lady. <laughs> All the news wow. that fits a punt. Wow. <laughs> Start. Holy shit. I, my mind was blown when I saw that. I was like, oh, wow, you won't link nationalfile.com, but you'll link the stalker site. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, but, all right, I'll let you talk. Go ahead. I, I published the story. I broke the story. It was um, a scoop that I did, in fact, confirm. The This is Ashley Biden's diary. She was in a rehab facility in Florida. She's had a lot of problems. Um, and uh, some of the problems that she describes is the fact that she took showers with her father, Joe Biden, when she was a child that she described as probably not appropriate. Uh, she describes childhood sex trauma. She describes being... Um, sexualized at a young age um, and she really gives a lot of insight into what it's like to be a female in the Biden family sadly and I uh, obviously you know I, I, I put this out during the uh, election I handled the coverage of this and uh, it was it was a big story so even though the mainstream media obviously you know does public relations for the traitor who's in the White House right now who's trying to force injections on people and trying to inject children and is just taking it um, in every possible way from the Chinese communists and worldwide Zionism and other massive uh, global movements that are conquering the United States, humiliating the United States. You know, I stand behind this story 100 percent. And Joe Biden must be, um, you know, this this uh, needs to uh, remain in history. This needs to last in history when we talk about this Joe Biden fellow and uh, the d absolute disgrace that he is inflicting upon this country. By the way, when you talk about hardball articles, I mean, this is October 28th, 2020. We talked about the yeah. show when it came out and I'm thoroughly, uh, but you know what I mean? Like that's like in the heat of the, sh that's like what a week before the election, not even a full week. Um, now, first off, talk about the, the showers, what showers, baths, what was it? The, like, what did she say about that exactly? We went over it, but I forgot the exact details to be quite honest with you. You know, she has a lot of resentment for Joe Biden. And, you know, I, I always remember when I saw Jeff Sessions shielding his granddaughters from Joe Biden in that little room where Joe Biden swears in the senators. Dude. Well, this has become a very serious issue because Steve Daines of Montana, Steve Daines's niece Maria is 14 years old now and has confirmed that Joe Biden did pinch her body in that room. We can talk about Kathleen Biden, who is uh, Hunter's ex-lady there and Joe Biden was all involved in this group called the DC Volunteer Lawyers Project and I spoke to a mother who said that her son was in her belief propositioned to be part of male prostitution when he was in the bathroom um, you know uh, before he was about to testify in some kind of custody trial. These people are like leeches the DC Volunteer Lawyers Project we know that this stuff surrounds Joe Biden and the Biden family. And it's time that the media stops running cover for the crooks that are running the new world order. And it's time for the real truth movement to rise and to say that we are ethical and I don't pay anyone for scoops. I do everything ethically and I investigate and I report the truth and I've never been proven wrong. Even when Perkins Cooey on a different story, not this one, uh, tried to take me to court, I defeated them. I, I won that case. There's There's been no legal action with this whatsoever. And in fact, Ashley Biden has confirmed that it's her diary. Now, let me ask you, and I'll, I'll pull it up. Hold on, let me fix this double scene here real quick so we can do that. That'd be cool. 
if I can find the dumb. Oh man, I'm trying to be slick. There it goes. Um, now let me ask you this: Do you? I mean, are you worried about possibly being under federal investigation over this? Or I am never scared. Fear cannot contribute to this. I have great friends. I know I've known uh, people for a long time who are real ballers and great people, and people who want to do journalism, people who want to expose the truth. And I'm very happy about this, you know, uh, because I enjoy exposing uh, politicians. You know, that thing I remember about Jeff Sessions shielding his granddaughters. And I, oh, what's some, what's up with that? Well, now we can talk to Steve Daines's niece. I mean, this this has become a massive, massive global awareness that Joe Biden touches children and he does it at, in his role I'm not even going to call him what, what the title that they call him because I don't believe that he's legitimate so he uses this office to touch children that's well documented on video by the way somebody asked me well I'll get to that in a second um now the reason I asked that um and I mean if you read this article I mean, you would know why but they they go in and they talk they talk about national file and like who owns it like going into like trying to tie it to Keith I guess that's how they're trying to get him mixed up in it too or whatever I don't even know the FBI and this is all over a diary too like he said I mean it's kind of fucking insane uh when you think about it um but like I, I mean what this is kind of a scary attack on the press as well yeah. from that angle too. You know what I mean? Where there this is a media organization, um, just like any other, you know, legal, and they don't like what's being published. It hurt their guy politically, and now they're coming down and trying to fucking criminalize them. That's what's going on right here. Well, you know, uh, the truth movement is going to change the world and truth media is going to win because people see how cynical the mainstream media is. People realize that it's a psyop. It's a big communist operation that is run to try to destroy America. People are aware of that now. And so, you know, truth as truth media gains credibility, I was happy to do the story. I was happy to expose this because the world needs to know about Joe Biden. And you know what? The world's finding out about Joe Biden even more so today. It's just, when you think, you know, they talk about democracy and darkness and, whoa, Trump, you know, he wants to be a dictator. This is dictator type shit right here. Trump never had the balls to do something like this. Honestly, I mean, from that perspective, I mean, it is fucking ruthless type shit. And it is something where I, Biden called this in. I have no doubt. Are you? Do you? I mean, this is coming from his, him and his family. I mean, I would is you can't have any other conclusion, I wouldn't think. Biden really has a lot of mental problems. Well, so yeah, he's well, not the one who is whoever is controlling there. You know, whatever. Yeah, maybe not him personally. There's a Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, the right, like, okay. several actually. Uh, Susan Rice and and many others. Um, uh, George Soros, Obama, etc. So. Yeah, Obama. <laughs> yeah, maybe no, not you know, yeah. personally. Michelle. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right, now let me see. Let me switch back over here. 